show me a pursuit southbound on the one, uh, room 48. Oh, I suspect just came in. Alabama State Troopers out of the field. Out of the field. Attention all units, kill a large scale fight at the LTD gas station. Attention all units. Yeah. Stop Filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I'm a Sergeant Justin Richardson with the Mobile Police Department. I've been with the department for a little over 12 years now. Uh, what can I say? I love my job. Uh, love my community and, you know, uh, growing up, I was a military child, so uh, my mother, we had to move around a lot. And, you know, for the past 12 years, I'm just proud to call Mobile my home. Um, as a sergeant, you know, uh, I, my job is to supervise other officers, making sure everything in my department is running, um, efficiently and effectively, and, uh, yeah, so, what just happened was, we got a call that just came over to CAD, uh, so we're gonna be going to, uh, check it out, and it's saying here, it's a shop in progress. See the uh, police department here in uh, Mobile, Alabama is, is such a family, and it it, it it definitely runs here. You know, my, my uh, brother was a police officer, um, my father was a police officer, um, and, and my wife is also a police officer. So yeah, it, it definitely runs in the family. Dispatch, you can show me uh, 1023. You can show me code 7 on the possible uh, shoplift in progress. <clears throat> two, Officer, two, please yeah, help me. Officer. Oh my how god. You, how you doing, sir? Not good. I just got robbed. That What's guy. On, man? That guy. Just fuck just did, did the, oh my god. He, he broke the window. He, he broke the, the freaking trash can. <laughs> Okay. Um. Please catch him. He just he just left like a minute ago. Okay. Do you do you have a direction in which he went in? Um. I think he went um that road behind the store. It's called the like Bun Hum. Yeah, Bun Hum Road or something. Okay. Okay. He um was a white man I think had like a weird hat that he wore. Okay. And uh, I don't know. He he had a bike like a white bike. All right. Um. Well, uh, you think I can gather your name? Sure. Okay. Uh -oh. All right, sir. What's your name? Adam. Okay. Adam. Gonzalez. Adam Gonzalez. Okay. All right, Mr. Gonzalez. Um, we got officers. They're going back there to search that road now. Um, we're gonna do everything in our power to, you know, try to find the, uh, person. Uh, what did they steal? Um, some, uh, I think beer and cigarettes. Beer and cigarettes from behind the counter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I was, uh, I went to, uh, like, the back room, and when I came back, he was just there trying to, you know, like, smash stuff and mm -hmm. grab what he could. You got any security footage or anything? I do, I do. Okay. Come on. Um, here's um computer, just do whatever you want. Okay. So, uh, alright. You just want to rewind it, uh, back an hour or so? Sure. Here you go. Then fast forward it. 
to the point in which it happened. This happened is that. Bungie zone, man. That's, that's him. He was hit before, actually. Alright. 22 and 238 of the suspect returning to the scene. Has he stole anything in the past? No, this is his first, but in the past he used to, you know, like, look at me in some weird ways and, you know, looks a bit suspicious. Okay. Hey, uh, All right. Arch, they, they just called over, they got the guy, they're gonna bring him back now. Would you be okay with identifying him for us, if that's alright with you? Yeah. Yes, 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 please. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna bring him back, just let you know, um, he's gonna step out. You don't have to go outside yourself, you can just look through your glass door. Um. If you give us the okay, that's him, then we're gonna go ahead and book him on, on these targets, okay? Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, no problem. No problem, sir. No problem. Scene with the suspect. Okay. Out of the car, sir. Okay, just this way. Follow us, sir. Alright, uh, keep him there, 238. And that's the guy. Yes, All I right. think so. Yes, yes, that's him. That's him. Okay. All right. Um. All right. Well, uh. Let me see. Looks like the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Okay. Alright, so how you doing? I'm good. All right, that's great, man. Has anyone advised you on your rights yet? No. What rights? Alright, I'm just gonna let you know what your rights are as of right now. Right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be prosecuted against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state. Do you understand your rights as they have been read to you? Yeah. Alright, that's great, man. What you been, what you out here doing still, man? Well, I've been living up in uh, uh, the, the Banham, the hill, the valley for the last six months and I just got real hungry. The only food I get is from the soup kitchen, and I just really needed a cigarette. A cigarette and some alcohol, man? I didn't steal no alcohol. Alright, well, um, we have, you know, footage, you know, stealing, you know, alcohol and this, these cigarettes, so, you know, can't be out here doing that, man, no, no, no matter what your situation is, man. I know it's tough out here, but, you know, you gotta do things the legal way, alright? Alright. Alright, so right now you're gonna be charged with uh the uh theft and yeah, you're gonna be booked probably overnight. Alright. Sergeant Eric Reed with the Alabama State Patrol. Uh, I've been serving with the ASP for about seven years now. Um, primarily our duty is to enforce the traffic laws. And we also work a lot of vehicle collisions uh, around this highway, which is the 15, as well as all the other highways throughout the state of Alabama. Um, me as a sergeant, I'm obtaining uh, a supervisory position, which means I uh, supervise the other officers and would be uh, patrolmen on the shift. And my job is to make sure that they are uh, doing their job safely and also by the books. Right now we're just finishing off our radar duty and uh, we're about to pull back out onto the highway and continue our patrol. So let's get out there. Now this highway is uh, particularly notorious for vehicle collisions uh, and other high speed accidents. People like to drive recklessly on this road. They like to speed for whatever reason. Um, I remember this one time I was working a huge accident where this uh, truck, like this dump truck, hit a uh, compact vehicle and uh, I ended up going into a huge investigation. It was a hit and run and uh, we ended up arresting all the suspects involved. So that was definitely a great bus for the state patrol. Um, we do a lot of traffic enforcement. Uh, as I stated, we run radar um, to prevent people from going over the speed limit. Um, we're serious about the speed limit. If you are driving over the speed limit, 
you're pretty much going to get pulled over and you're going to get cited. We can't have this reckless driving on our roads. It's not acceptable. So it looks like right here there's another officer on a traffic stop or a trooper. Um, I'm just going to pull up and see what's going on. Uh, as I am a supervisor, so it's my job to make sure all the other officers are doing their job correctly. Hey, what's going on? Oh, hey, sorry. Alright, so pretty much I pulled this guy over for his clearly dark tinted windows. I, I can't even see through them even with my flashlight. Um, I've already spoken to the driver, I've ran his information, everything comes back clean. Um, but I am smelling like a faint, like a very faint smell of what appears to me to be marijuana. So I do want to get him out of the vehicle and um, search his vehicle just to be on the safe side. Hey, Mr. Santana. Right. Whoa, what's up, sir? Can you just go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please? Um, absolutely, you got it. Give me a minute, though. No, I can't um, give you a minute, just step okay. out. All right, do me a favor, come on back to the back of your vehicle and put your hands on the trunk for me, okay? Um, all right, sure. Here you go, sir. All right, so back in your vehicle, sir. Oh, my. Hands on okay. the trunk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here you go. All right, I want you to listen to me carefully, okay? okay. You are not under arrest right now, but I do have to detain you, okay? You what does that mean that? exactly? That means I'm going to put you in cuffs. Okay. Okay? Uh, why? I'm gonna I mean, I'm, gonna I'm not gonna to run or anything, so you good. You just leave me and do your thing, man. You know. Okay. Listen. Okay. Sure. Like I said, so you got a deal then, right? No, no, no. You're going to cuffs. Turn around for me. Oh, okay. Easy, easy, sir. Hey, what is that guy doing? And who is he? He's joined the like, Hey. Like, all right, nah. all right, sir. Listen. Don't look at him. Pay attention to me, okay? Alright, sir. Have you smoked any marijuana today? Uh, today? I don't know. Listen, no, listen, no, listen. no, not okay. today. Okay, look at me. Look at me, okay? Don't okay. lie to me, okay? If you lie to me, it's gonna make things worse, okay? If it's a little bit of weed, it's just a citation, you can go to court for it in the morning, okay? It's easy, you know, you know, just kidding, you know, okay. Yeah, I smoked, you know, a little bit with my friends last night. Okay, how much weed do you have in your vehicle? Not much, honestly. Like, How much is all not I much? Know, all I know is that I got, you know, just like a baggie, small baggie, and then just a joint. But that's really about it. So a little, yeah, like a little small baggie? Yeah. That's like the equivalent of one joint for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, where is exactly. it at in your view? Um, probably under my seat. The driver one. Driver's seat? Yeah. Uh, I, I just put it there, actually. Um, okay, so, so, so just a little baggy in the joint. Yeah, yeah, that's really about it. Okay, all right, so what we're going to do, I'm just going to let you know now. We're going to search your vehicle, okay? Um, do we have to do that? I mean, come on, I told you, man. Yeah, I understand. I was honest so with you. That's fine, but I can't take your word for it, okay? I have a job, okay? So what um, I want to do is you're going in the back of my car, okay, while we search your vehicle, okay? Mm, so come on this way. Yeah, all right, man, all right. Hey, but we got to make a deal, man. Careful of traffic. Go, right? You're gonna let me go, right? Just, just get in the back. Get in the if back. it's in fact oh what god. you said it is, we'll see. Oh my god. Get up by traffic. Trooper. Traffic is vicious for the limits. Alright, so he said it's underneath the seat. Driver's seat. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll just look in here anyways, see what I can find. Alright, so I'm gonna search gonna, for the car. Yeah, I'm just gonna reach up under here and said it was a small baggie. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's on the dashboard here. Yeah, I got a couple joints here on the dashboard. Alright. This is under the passenger seat. Yeah, search this car thoroughly. I have a feeling we're gonna find more. All right, so yeah, there's a pipe in the glove box. Yeah. Okay, I got like a bag, like a whole bag, like a.
gallon bag of marijuana underneath the seat, so clearly he lied to me. Yeah. Alright, so I mean, this is enough right here. I'm gonna pop the trunk, just make sure there's nothing back there. Hey, Mr. Santana. Hey, sir, can I go now? No, you, you cannot go, you're not free to go, okay? Uh, okay, you're you under arrest. You let me go. Listen, you're under arrest. I'm going to go ahead and advise okay. you of your rights. Okay. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against right, you in the court of law. What's happening right now? Why, you have the right to an attorney. You cannot law? afford an attorney. You will be appointed to you. Do you, you understand like your that, rights man? as I have read them to you? Do you understand your rights, Mr. Santana? Not really. You know, like that was too fast, you know. Okay, I'm going to read them What'd again. I'm going to read them slowly, okay? Uh, okay. You have the right to remain silent. Alright. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an I attorney. I might go to court. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights? Do you I'm understand your jail, rights? Man? Do, yes or no? Do you understand your rights? I, I guess. I mean, okay. uh, at least let me call someone. With these rights in mind, do you let wish me call to answer someone. any questions yes, I sir, have? You can call somebody at the jail. Let me call someone. And okay, where so are you taking me? Where are you taking me? Okay, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana, okay? Clearly, you have you lied to me because I looked under your driver's seat and you have a gallon bag of marijuana. I'm not the only driver of the car, man. And I found you were driving, 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 driving the car at this moment. I only put the bag here when I got in, like, literally half an hour ago. When I okay, sir, that's fine. Listen, you can you explain all of that. That's probably not mine, explain. so you can't put that on me. All right, sir, you can explain all of that to the judge when you go for your arraignment, okay? Filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law.